Ladies and gentlemen, we have good news today. It is day 12. And, well, let's start by going on a less, more comfy part of the couch here. So, let's start off with, I didn't weigh myself, but I will uh, in the morning for the next one. Um, I knew after the cake and everything I'd had yesterday, there was no point weighing myself. It was probably going to be the same or higher. But, uh, did I have the two pieces of fruit today? Uh, yes, yes, I had a lot more, actually, kind of. Well, I had three pieces of actual fruit. I had the sultanas, the apple, and the banana. And then I also had uh, a V8 juice, which was uh, five servings of fruit and veg in that bottle. So there's that if you count that. And what did I spend my $3 worth of snacks on today? Well, <laughs> for the first day in this experiment, I spent fucking zero. I spent none of it. I had no snacks today. Fuck, it was hard. When you work at a grocery store and literally you're there for like six hours looking at the, the food and the snacks and all this crap, it, it can be really hard to not just go and buy a packet of biscuits or something. But I fucking did it for the first time. Uh, no snacks. Did I exercise? Yes. Did I have no snacks? Yes. Did I have my pieces of fruit? Yes. Did I hit the 1500 calorie limit? Yes, I fucking did. Today's a good day, and tomorrow I'd be surprised if there wasn't a announcement of losing a couple hundred grams. If I can just do that tomorrow. Oh, man. And yes, I am feeling a lot better than yesterday. Maybe it has something to do with not eating the crap. I don't know. I think I was just feeling a bit off that day. But uh, regardless... Yes, yes, let's see how things go. Let's see if we can drop those numbers. I really hope we can. You know, one day is not going to change everything, but if we can keep doing this, but keep in mind Sunday's quickly rolling. Tomorrow's Saturday, I think I can do good for the Saturday, but uh, it's all on that Sunday. Can I? I haven't had any junk food since that Sunday, so, uh, you know, I, I'm honestly, uh, on days that aren't Sundays, I really am not craving, um, I have no craving for McDonald's anymore. I have no craving for Hungry Jacks anymore. No craving for KFC. No craving for Subway. Um, the only, no craving for pizza. The only uh, junk food that I do crave sometimes is uh, is Chinese food. That is the only thing um, that I really crave anymore. I don't crave any of the chain restaurants. I really just sort of crave Chinese food. That's about it. So I feel like if I can cut all those chains out... Chinese food's not the worst thing I could do to my body once or twice a week, so... Yeah, let's cut out all the snacks, let's cut out all those fast food chains, and then eventually we'll cut out the fast food too. Um, until then, yeah, I've been quite happy on my zero coke, um, zero sugar cokes, uh, my water, my milk, and the juices that I have been using. Not fruit juices, they do have... The V8 juice does have a bunch of sugar in it, but the whole 1.25 litre bottle is only like 600 calories, which is, you know, less than those TV snacks. It's about a pack of Oreos, but you're also getting so many serves of fruit and vegetables and a lot of vitamins in it as opposed to just chocolate and stuff. So I feel like I'm very happy to replace the chocolate and the crap with the, the fruit juice. I think that's a very good trade-off, a very healthy one. No, but the might not be the healthiest. It is the healthiest fruit juice you can get, to be fair, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, I'm really happy. If I can do this tomorrow, I think we'll be on the right track. I think two weeks into this, we're really getting into it. So, yeah, hope we're this excited tomorrow.